My hose has busted, but I am not buying another one. I'm repairing it instead. So in this video, you're going to see me learn how to use one of those hose repair kits for the very first time. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and welcome back to my meadow. I'm gardening in zone 9A in Northeast Florida. I'm not an expert gardener, but I love showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly and embracing the imperfection that learning to garden has to offer. When you are selecting your hose repair parts, you got to make sure that you get the kind that's right for the hose you have. Most of the hoses at the store were 5 8 inch, so I felt pretty good about choosing 5 8 And maybe take the end of your hose with you and ask somebody at the hardware store if you're not sure. I chose to get the brass ones. I wanted ones that seemed heavier duty. My mother in love has used a lot of the plastic ones and they haven't held up very well, so I went with the best. Now I know I will need to cut back past where this tear is. I'm going to make this a twofer and I'm going to come back a little bit further so that I have enough to help with staking the tree as well. Now let's get these open and I'm going to show you a trick that I think you're going to like. Put the hose clamp on, shove this in, and then pull it up and tighten down the hose clamp. But this is going to be hard to press in. It just will. So what I do is this. My trick is boiling water. I just want to soak this down just so that it will help soften the material of the hose to make it easier to put the replacement part in. When you look how pinchy that is compared to back here. That definitely helps. Now the other really important thing to remember is that you put this part on first. Now that just slides right in. Now all I need is my screwdriver, tighten that down. There we go. Now we just repeat on the other end. Nice and soft. Clamp first and put it so you can easily screw it in. Now slide that on. Now the real test is going to be Will it hold pressure? Nope, not good yet. It's leaking right there. I'm going to get a bigger screwdriver and tighten that down some more. There we go. That end is good. All it took was a little more tightening. I do see some water coming out, but it's not coming from that connection. I probably don't have the quick connects very tight. Turn the water back on. I want to check this end. Same. Need to tighten that up a little bit more. It was harder with that tiny screwdriver, so make sure you use a big enough screwdriver for the project. Again, I'm not a handy woman. I just try stuff until it works. Look, Ma! No leaks! Okay, there you have it. It was my first time using the hose kit, but I think everything went just fine. You got to pick the right size hose kit. You want to make sure you have something sharp to cut your hose. You want to make sure you have a screwdriver or a power driver that's strong enough to help you really ratchet that down. And of course, that little tip with the boiling water makes that hose pinchy or pliable to make it all a bit easier. The biggest bonus of all, I saved between $35 and $40, even though it cost almost 20 bucks for those two brass connectors at my local Ace, I still would have had to pay $45 to $60 to replace that 75 foot heavy duty garden hose. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel to learn more about what's growing on here in our Northeast Florida Zone 9A garden. Until next time, my friends, remember to drink plenty of water, wear a high quality sunscreen, and as always, have a fantastic day.